There is an ongoing question that I always uh, been asked by people regarding the use of benchmarking for by Islamic banks in terms of pricing their financial products. There is nothing in Sharia prohibits the use of benchmarking uh, for basically financial products offered by banks. On the contrary, using a clear pricing is very important because uncertainty or gharar in any financial transactions in Sharia is prohibited. So everything should be clear and the price as the main element of any financial transaction it is important that the price is clear. The main conditions for any benchmarking to be used that is widely acceptable and, and easily accessible, transparent, consistent. Those are the main basically conditions for any benchmarking. The Sharia standard, which I think it's the least or the Ijara standard in the UV Sharia standard states that Islamic banks are allowed to use benchmarking, benchmarks like LIBOR and Bank of England base rate to price their products. And this is, as we said, will eliminate any uncertainty in the financial transaction. That use of benchmarking by Islamic banks will not impact the, the principles that used by Islamic banks because the transaction undertaken by Islamic banks, for example, uh, to, to determine the rental rate in a home purchase plan product or to determine the profit rate in a murabaha transaction, is basically just benchmark used by the bank to determine the pricing. And this will not impact at all the diminishing musharaka and lease principle used for uh, basically providing the home purchase plan product or the murabaha principle used for offering that, that product or trading with, that, with the underlying asset in the murabaha transaction. Bank of England base rate or LIBOR as a benchmark, it's basically just a measurement tool. It's like this glass of water in front of me. You can put in it, you can put in this glass of water, water which is basically uh, acceptable from Sharia, it's not prohibited in Sharia, or you can put in a juice, or in the same glass you can put alcohol, wine. So it's not the fault of the glass, of course, it's just what you put in that glass. This glass is just a container or a measurement tool. So it can have milk, yogurt, something completely acceptable under Sharia, or something completely prohibited under Sharia if we use it, for example, to drink wine or alcohol. So the same thing regarding using Bank of England base rate and uh, LIBOR as benchmarked by Islamic banks. It's just another information regarding the use of Bank of England base rate, for example, as a benchmark for mortgage product by conventional banks and by Islamic banks as well to measure or to price their rental rate. Bank of England base rate is basically a, a measurement for the cost of living in the UK. And as you see in the recent years due the, to the financial crisis, the Bank of England kept uh, basically the base rate to the minimum because in order basically to, uh, to uh, incentivize growth and for the economy to move. So it has an impact on the economy as a whole and the purchase power in the country. So, so that's why it basically represents the cost of living in the UK and it's associated with the economy as a whole. Many people perceive it as what banks basically pay to the Bank of England uh, for uh, basically borrowing from the Bank of England or used in the money market but basically uh, in terms of the borrowing between banks themselves. And that's not applicable based on Islamic banks because first of all that's 
prohibited for Islamic banks to deal with any other banks uh, in basically interest-based financial transactions or deposit with the Bank of England or borrow from the Bank of England in transactions based on interest. So what basically Islamic banks use this benchmarking in order to be consistent with the, the norm in the market because the market use Bank of England base rate to price the home finance or the mortgage products and for comparison reasons so the customer will be able to compare the uh, basically the conventional mortgage uh, pricing with the Islamic banks products in terms of pricing and in order to to align the, the pricing offered by Islamic banks with the local market so it doesn't have any impact at all on the product uh, uh, themselves or it will not affect the Islamic finance principles that the product are based on.